Jess has told me that you're famous in San Antonio. He always competes with me, that's the thing. He's always, yeah. he makes everything a competition. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm semi-famous. You're semi-famous as you're wearing a shirt with your own face on right. it. Yeah, that's it. Has your favorite restaurant ever been 1,300 miles away? Wayne's Wings is an award-winning, beloved chicken spot. But what makes it really special is Wayne. Everyone in the community loves my dad because he truly does want to help the world in any way that he can. I was on my book tour in Houston and Jess works at the LGBTQ Alliance Center. Jess was hosting me, so she was doing this conversation with me. I'll never be able to fully understand the struggle that she went through as a trans woman, but as a gay man, I know the struggles that I've went through. And just to see someone like Wayne be so loving and supportive of his daughter, it really was something special. Hey, Wayne, how are you? How you doing? I know this is the first time we're ever talking, but I feel like I kind of know you already. One, because of the famous, like, Wayne's Wings logo. And two, because I love the way that Jess talks about you. The relationship you have with her. Oh, Dad. Oh. <laughs> I'm from a really small town, and growing up, I didn't really have any friends in the LGBTQ plus community. And so as I've gotten older, I've always felt so lucky to meet such incredible people like your daughter. When I got to see how close you guys are, the kind of influence you have in Jess's life, and just what a role model you are, and I'm so grateful for people like you. Growing up, I didn't see those people. Wayne, why was it so important for you to make your business inclusive? I consider the restaurant my home. It's all about love and making sure everybody in my home is safe and secure. Years ago, Jules was much younger, I guess 17. This was the beginning of my transition. There was somebody there, one of the customers at that establishment felt as though she shouldn't be in that restroom and they went and they called the police. It just wasn't right. Having to learn how to like love yourself in like a society where like those kind of experiences happen is a really difficult thing. It's very important for us to be in these spaces that are inclusive and accepting. You made the bathrooms inclusive. How has the response been to that? Oh, it's been great. I've had people come up to me and tell me, you know, like, wow, that's awesome. Thank you for doing that. It's a something really small that like means a lot to the community. I wanted to show my support in any way that I can. How has Wayne's Wings been affected during the pandemic? It affected us for maybe a month. We had to stop our dining. I feel as though the more safe we are, it's, it's not for just us, it's for everybody. So our supporters really helped us out. Our Saturdays are crazy right now. We're busy from open to close. Our online earnings picked up a lot. Over 50% of our sales are new people every day. That's amazing. We're gonna be opening a second location. Our next location is gonna be takeout only. I have so much love for you, and I just think that you're such a great guy. Um, I am going to donate $5,000 to Wayne's Wings to help make it even more inclusive to, for it to feel like a safe space. <coughs> Man, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I know that there have been some like challenging times with the pandemic and it's so important to support businesses that share values that you hold near. We're so grateful, honestly. It means, it means the world. Don't be, you guys deserve it. Wayne's the best. He's in incredibly giving and open, and, and, and he wears his LGBTQ plus allyship proudly. It sets such a precedent in the community. It doesn't matter where you've come from. It doesn't matter who you are. When you walk into a place like Wayne's Wings, you're home.